A common question I get asked a lot is, Miss Harleen, how did you turn that improper fraction into a mixed number? Well, today I thought I would do a longer tutorial for you guys on YouTube, and we're gonna go over five examples on how to do that. Let's look at our first example, 7 thirds. Let's turn this into a mixed number. All fractions are a form of division, so we can write it like this. Seven will be our dividend, or the number under our division sign, and then your denominator is going to be your divisor, the number that's gonna be on the outside. And you wanna ask yourself, how many times does this number go inside of this number? Three goes into seven twice without going over, because two times three is six. We're going to subtract, and our remainder is one. So may, you may ask yourself, like, why are we dividing? This is the reason. So that whole number that we found will be the whole number of your mixed number. Your remainder will be the numerator of your mixed number. And you're gonna bring that denominator from your original improper fraction onto your mixed number. So now we're able to create the two and one third. So seven thirds is equivalent to two and one third as a mixed number. Let's turn 18 fifths into a mixed number. We're gonna divide. So we're gonna do 18 divided by five, and you're gonna ask yourself the same question. Five goes into 18 three times without going over. Three times five is 15. We're going to subtract to find the remainder. We'll have a remainder of three. And so we're gonna put this three on the left side as the whole number of your mixed number. The remainder three will be the numerator of your mixed number, and we're gonna copy the denominator from your improper fraction onto your mixed number. So 18 fifths is equivalent to three and three fifths. Here is our example three, 25 sevenths. Again, let's divide. So 25 divided by seven. Seven goes into 25 three times without going over. Three times seven is 21. There is a difference of four. So our remainder is four. So now let's use this to turn that into um, a mixed number. So the three will be the whole number. Your remainder four will be the numerator of your mixed number. And we're gonna bring over that denominator from this improper fraction onto here. So 25 sevenths is equivalent to three and four sevenths. Example four, 31, six. So let's divide. 31 divided by six. Six goes into 31 five times. And then five times six is 30. The difference is one, so our remainder is one. Five will be the whole number of your mixed number. And your remainder one will be the numerator of your mixed number, and we're gonna copy that six onto here. So 31 sixths is equivalent to five and one sixth. Our last problem, 54 tenths. We're going to divide. 54 divided by 10. 10 goes into 54 five times. That is a product of 50. We have a difference of four. Our remainder is four. So the five will be the whole number of your mixed number. The four will be the numerator of your mixed number. And then let's copy the 10, the denominator from the improper fraction onto your mixed number. So for this problem, we have just one more step because usually we do like to simplify our fractions. If you see our numerator and denominator, these numbers are both even. So when your numbers are even, we can divide by two. So now we'll get five and two fifths. Again, I got this two because we did four divided by two is two, and 10 divided by two is five. Two and five are prime numbers, and they also don't share any other factor besides the number one. So we are done simplifying. And so 54 tenths, is equivalent to five and two fifths. I hope you found this short tutorial helpful. Now you know how to turn any improper fraction into mixed numbers. If you guys have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. I'll see you guys next time.